What I wanted to talk about today is uh, flame retention oil burners. Uh, give you a little bit of a history here. At the end of World War II, oil burners, there were changes in the design of oil burners. They used to be pot burners before that, for the most part. And after World War II, we ended up with the pressure burner. And that meant the oil was pressured up to about 100 pounds, and there was a nozzle that sprayed it out. And there was various designs, most of which kind of faded by the wayside as the years went on. And from about 1950 to right about 1970, uh, maybe a little earlier than that, these burners continued on. Well, by the, by the 70s, we started getting uh, what were called flame retention head burners. And there had been some real engineering. Uh, the original burners were mostly put too much air in the fire, didn't have good control of the draft. Uh, there are a lot of things about them that just didn't work very well. Well, after they developed the flame retention head burner, there was a huge market for just changing out the burners. Put a flame retention head burner on an old furnace, it was far cheaper, and it would save about 20% on your uh, fuel usage. And that was kind of an average, you know, who knows, sometimes more, sometimes less. But, and I, I dealt with a lot of these things when I was first in the industry in the late 70s and uh, into the 80s. So for the most part, you know, the pot burners were long gone uh, and we changed out an awful lot of these pressure burners that really weren't, weren't that good. There, you know, I've had a few comments from people and they talk about, well, yeah, I got this this furnace, you know, made in 1948 or something, and um, some of them still have the original burner. And I don't know if there's any real interest in this or not, because I don't think there's that many of them left around. But I do get comments now and then, and I thought I would ask you, do you want me to go over replacement of what they call the conventional burner to a flame retention head burner in an oil furnace. I mean, there's a lot of guys don't even work in oil furnaces anymore, but I just thought it was interesting. I did have some knowledge on that, and uh, if everyone's interest, or if some people are interested, I will go get a new burner. I'll just buy a new one uh, because it'll have all the the fancy stuff on it, it'll have the solenoid on it, and it'll have the uh, upgraded control. And I'll install it and kind of show you how that's done. So if there's any real interest in that, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll pick one up and we'll see what we can do with it. That's it on this one.